Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 11th of 2024 is titled Ring of Fire over Easter Island. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the eclipse of October the 2nd, so a little over a week ago. And that an eclipse occurs, an eclipse of the sun specifically, occurs when our moon passes in front of the sun and blocks out its light. Now, there are different types of eclipses that you can get. You can get a partial eclipse where just a portion of the moon passes in front of the disk of the sun and blocks out some of its light. Depending on how much light is blocked, you might not even notice those. If only a small percentage, 20 or 30 percent is blocked, you really won't even notice any change in brightness here on Earth. When it gets higher, then you will start to notice when you get up to the 70 and 80 percent, then you start to notice it getting dusky during the middle of the day. Now you can also get a total solar eclipse and that is when our moon passes directly in front of the sun and completely blocks out the entire disk. That's when it will get dark during the middle of the day. And what we see here is another type of eclipse and this is called an annular eclipse and that's because of the annulus or ring of sunlight still visible around the limb of the moon during the eclipse. So in this case the moon was not quite able to completely block out the sun. Now, why would that happen? Well, both Earth and Moon are in elliptical orbits. And that means that Earth gets a little bit closer to the sun sometimes and a little bit farther from it at others. And our Moon gets a little bit closer to Earth at some times and a little bit farther from it. So if we get an eclipse when the Moon is at its greatest distance, it's not going to appear as large in the sky. And what that means is that if the eclipse occurs at that time, the moon's going to appear a little bit smaller and will not quite be able to block out the sun. Now here on Earth, we happen to be have a good coincidence that our sun and our moon happen to be almost the same angular size in the sky. So that's why we get such amazing eclipses. It's not like the moon is overwhelmingly large and easily blocks out the sun. And it's not like the moon is so far away and small that it just cuts a path across the sun. Both of those would be interesting, but they wouldn't quite be the same as the total eclipses that we get here. Now, this is happens again when the moon is a little bit farther away. And that means that it does not completely block out the sun's light. So what you're seeing around the edge is actually the photosphere of the sun, the actual surface of the sun that you would normally see as the sun rises or sets, for example. And when we see a total solar eclipse, that is completely blocked out. And you can actually see the atmosphere of the sun, which is really kind of hidden here because the rest of the sun, even that little bit of it, is too bright. Now, you may also notice a sunspot group off to the right hand side there. And if you take a look, you can see that there is a sunspot almost to the center of the sun on the right hand far right hand side, which are cooler areas on the sun's surface and have nothing to do with the eclipse, but do have to do with solar storms and things that cause auroral activity here on Earth. So when a sunspot group and its activity can be directed toward Earth, we can get excess solar flares that have more particles and give us much more prominent aurora. So that was our picture of the day for October 11th of 2024. It was titled Ring of Fire over Easter Island. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.